We've all been told that radiation is bad for you and that it can cause cancer. But how does it actually cause cancer? And what if you're exposed to the highest doses of it all at once? Intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends. It's Steak Tartare. Radiation is the release of energy in the form of moving waves or streams of particles. And this energy can be low leveled like microwaves and cell phones called non-ionizing radiation or high leveled like x-rays and radioactive waste called ionizing radiation. So radiation comes from the atom, you know, the thing with neutrons and protons that's surrounded by moving electrons. And remember your high school periodic table that each element on it has a specific number of neutrons and protons? Well, radiation comes when the atom has too many or too few neutrons. And when this happens, the atom becomes unstable. So these atoms always want to be stable. Again, they're always looking to be calm, meaning they want to balance out their protons and neutrons. And to do this, they release energy or radioactive energy until they become stable once more. And this process is called radioactive decay. It's sort of like if you're too hot, your body naturally releases sweat to balance your temperature again. There are three different types of radiation atoms can emit. Alpha, beta, and gamma. Think of alpha as a sumo wrestler. It doesn't travel very far, it's heavy, but if you get too close to it, it packs a punch. Think of gamma as a ninja, swift. It travels farther distances and is able to slice through you much easier. And beta, well, that's the middle ground between the two. So what happens when it passes through your body? Sometimes when atoms get close enough to each other, they transfer electrons and typically it's just the outer shell of electrons that gets shared. But with radioactive atoms, since they're all crazy, the inner electrons are also being transferred, meaning there's too many electrons being traded and this makes atoms very unstable. Remember, atoms typically like to be calm and balanced. So when radiation hits your cells and this alien transfer between your own atoms and this foreign radiation happens, your atoms become very unstable. And that's when you become sick and your cells can change or be destroyed. But if not harmed too much, your cells can repair themselves. If, however, a large number of cells are harmed to disrepair, the affected cells can die resulting in tissue effects such as cataracts, failure of organs, and burns. And this is why you get sunburns. If an important part of the cell is broken like DNA, yet the cell incorrectly repairs itself and continues to live, you may develop cancer. The higher the radiation dose, the more likely a cancer will occur. So how do you absorb radiation? Well, it can get inside you in many ways. Through the air you breathe, sun rays, the food you eat, you could manually inject it into yourself, or even gamma and beta rays could penetrate your skin. But now for the question you all want to know. If you're exposed to the most harmful radiation, what happens? Well, your answer lies in a story. In 1999, there was this worker in Japan called Hiroshi, who was exposed to deadly radiation in the form of neutron beams from a uranyl nitrate solution, which is a compound resulting from dissolved nuclear fuel rods. He was depositing it into a tank when an accident happened, and he and three other workers were exposed to it. It only took microseconds for those beams to shoot through his body, and once they did, he was a dead man. So he went to the hospital and he seemed relatively well for someone who was exposed to unimaginable doses. And he even conversed with the doctors. But then, his skin started to fall off. You see, the radiation broke down his chromosomes and he got worse and worse, and over a period of three months, his skin blackened, blistered, and continued to melt off his body and his organs started to fail. Luckily, he was kept in medical coma for most of this traumatic time. He survived for 83 days, but by the end of it, you can imagine him looking like a human whose full body was skinned, muscles still intact, and alive. And what does it feel like? Well, you know how sometimes you have a piece of skin that rips off accidentally and you get that burning sensation? Well, multiply that by a million and have it all over your body. 
So there you have it, intelligence for your life that you can share with your friends. It's steak tartare. And want to learn more? I have even better videos coming your way. Then join us on YouTube and subscribe for your answers to everyday questions.